Hi, thank you for applying to Deep Thought. So in this video, I'll explain what the selection process is about and why we have this kind of a selection process. Most of the applicants tell me that your process is very different and maybe a little bit of guidance is helpful early on, which is why I'm recording this video. Before I go into what is Deep Thought, what is the selection process, two questions for you to think about. I'm sure even before you were sent this video, we sent you these questions, but repeating it again so that we're all on the same page. Firstly, what is your main reason why you're applying for a job or applying for an internship, right? So either it's a fresher job or an internship, why are you applying? So there are people who apply because they want an income, right? If your motivation is primarily financial, we wouldn't encourage that you proceed forward with this video because the effort that you're going to put and what you're going to earn, there's going to be no you know, correlation there. So if, if A is your reason that income is the primary reason why you're applying, I'm not saying there won't be an income, but if that is a main motivation, probably this will not make you happy, right? And the second reason why people apply is because they want to get some tasks. You give me some tasks, I'll complete those tasks and I'll get a certificate, right? I don't want to fully commit myself into an organization, understand that organization, work in a team. I don't want to do all that. I have my life sorted. I have my college sorted. Uh, just give me some tasks. I'll complete those tasks and I have some other agenda in my life. If that's the reason, this is not the right opportunity. Again, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying this opportunity may not suit you if that is the reason. But if you say, no, no, this is not me. I am here because I want to build my career. I want to get the right exposure so that I can grow into an all round individual. I'm looking for the right environment and I'm looking for the right people to work with. Of course, this opportunity is for you, but the selection process is going to be pretty long. Why? Because everybody says I want the right environment, right? But we can create a right environment when people uh, earn their entry into the organization, especially emphasis on the word earn. So we make people go through certain steps. What are those certain steps and why those certain steps? I'll tell you in a while. Now, question number two, what I'd sent in is, what is the kind of a career track you want to have for yourself? Career track one is single track, right? You know how to do one thing and that one thing you keep doing it again and again and again, you gain experience in it and your career grows. That's I think the easiest way in which somebody can uh, build a career. Now, let us say you're a software developer. You understand one stack. Let us say you learn React. You're able to do the same thing again and again, right? And you're getting better at it because you're doing it again and again. If this is the approach you have for your career that I want to do one thing right again and again, Deep thought may not be the right place. I'm not saying that is wrong. I'm just saying that our style of work and what you want to do are not matching there. If that's the case, you can drop off uh, from the selection process. Number two is I want to be a very strong individual contributor. I want to get all the best technical skills and I want to become the technical expert. If this is the reason, again, that's a fantastic uh, idea you have for your career. However, deep thought may not be the right place because Deep Thought is a consulting organization. As a consulting organization, we help businesses in problem solving. So our work is at the intersection of technology, business and design. So it's a very mixed kind of an approach we have at Deep Thought. So if your primary interest is only technology, then probably Deep Thought is not the right place. There's so many other opportunities out there. I'm sure you could apply there. However, if you want to be a pure technological contributor, you'll have to spend a little more time to do some projects, improve your uh, technical uh, knowledge only then you might get an opportunity don't lose hope stay patient keep practicing and then apply don't apply very early so just build yourself a bit and then you know apply but you can even if you're applying you can probably take feedback and improve yourself but deep thought is not the right place because we being a consulting organization we do not want people with an individual contributor mindset see there are leaders and there are individual contributors individual contributors that one person who's damn good is there in the team does the work alone but does not lead a team, does not lead a project usually, right? So, and uh, approach number three is an individual who wants to become an innovation and systems expert, right? Who wants to become a leader and wants to become an innovation and systems expert. So you want to be that person who's coming up with new ideas in the organization, implementing, you know, change, then definitely deep thought is for you. So from all these questions, I'm assuming if you're listening so far, you definitely don't want to just do repetitive task, task, task. You want to learn. You want to create something impactful. Now, let me tell you what Deep Thought does and what our selection process is about. Now, Deep Thought is a problem solving organization. We position ourselves as a dependable service partner for scaling companies. 
So there are companies whose turnover is in between 5 crore to 500 crore, right? They're doing well. They're impressing some customers. They're able to deliver value to their existing customers and they want to get to the next level, right? So now let's look at it this way. There are some companies, let's say like uh, uh, a Google, Facebook, uh, Unilever, Procter & Gamble, Pepsi, and all these companies, which are already well-established companies, well-known, operating with a huge amount of uh, top line and bottom line already. But there are some Indian companies which have got that potential, right? Which can also be big companies because they're doing something really interesting. So Deep Thought as a company identifies such companies and we partner with them and we help them in solving their internal problems, which can help them in scaling. Now, why is Deep Thought needed? Because majority of the employees, right, fall into that category A and category B, which I was just reading out. Category A, category B, majority of employees fall into that category. So they they don't go beyond to think holistic, right? You may have an employee who's a single track employee who can do that same thing again and again, but that employee is not an all-rounder who's able to connect the dots from different angles to understand what the business requires. So deep thought consists of these all-rounders, all these problem solvers who go, people with 19 years, 20 years, they go work with CEOs who are 50, 60 years old and help the CEOs in figuring out what is good for the business. Now that is what is exciting, right? That you don't need so many years of experience. Age is just a number. And these CEOs, especially our clients, are super excited to work with youngsters and work with youngsters as equals. So if you are that individual who doesn't want to lead a life like, yes, boss, yes, boss, and you want to be a problem solver, you want to take on your own project, build that and help a business in expanding, I think this is the opportunity for you. Now, I'm sure the question in your mind is, yeah, I'm all up for this. What do I do next? Well, we've got a selection process. In round one, you'll be given a Google form. In this Google form, there are various situational questions. Now, do not copy paste things from ChatGPT. Warning, do not copy paste things from ChatGPT. Because DT is not going to check whether you copy pasted from ChatGPT or not. Let me make it very clear. I'm not going to check whether you copy pasted from ChatGPT or not. What I'm going to check at the end of the selection process is how much did you learn? I don't care what your skills are today, but I care how much, how spongy you are as an individual, spongy, able to absorb things. So if you are an individual who's making observations, right, who's always seeing okay, what's going on here and you're able to ask questions and you, you chat with chat GPT, figure things out, we are super keen on hiring you. So the objective of the selection process is to transform you. This is not a selection process. This is a transformation process. So if you can evidence that transformation in your thinking and if you can demonstrate that you're a business problem solver, that you can solve business problems and help a business in expanding, we're happy to pick you up. Every month we've been hiring six to eight people. On Internshala, typically we get like uh, 5,000 to 10,000 uh, applications every month. Let me, you know, just show you uh, how it works, right? Just so that you uh, understand why this entire process is designed with four rounds. So as you can see, this is our Internshala dashboard. And there are various, you know, uh, technical, non-technical positions that we post every month. And there are positions which receive thousands of, uh, you know, applications. So if the web developer one had received 3,900, depending on how technical the role is, the number of applications drastically, you know, increase. Now, we do not want to shortlist people based on which college you're from or how many marks you got, right? For all you know, I mean, most companies have that as a criteria, right? How many marks you got and so on. So a lot of talented individuals are left behind due to that. And we believe the individuals who do not get those marks or who are not from those elite colleges often can be much better leaders because they have humility, they have less arrogance, they're willing to learn, they're willing to put their head down and execute, execute, execute. So we have a process which is different. Now in this process, what did I say? Don't copy paste from AI because if you copy paste from AI, you will not transform your thinking. And if you don't transform your thinking, even after putting the entire effort in the selection process, you may not get hired. So round one, there's a Google form. There are situational questions. You can take help of uh, any Gen AI to think, to get ideas, but write down in your own words. It takes some time, but it is worth it because by the time you fill your round one Google form, you'll know, is this what I want to be doing or not? Ask yourself this question, if this is the kind of thinking I'm supposed to do on a daily basis, if I'm hired for this opportunity, am I interested in doing that thinking? You'll get to know that when you fill the round one Google form. Round two, we give you an assignment. It is a situation. 
Now, if you read that entire document carefully, you'll get all the guidance. In fact, in many of the assignments, we give a work breakdown structure also, how much time it will take, what are the steps you can do, uh, and uh, so on. So just read that. Think of it like your uh, high school English exam, right, where you get a reading comprehension test, where you have to read that passage two to three times to understand that passage in detail. Go through that carefully. All the help on how to use AI the right way, how to prompt the right way, you'll get an understanding in the round two assignment. Then in the round three, that is, I think, the most exciting part because you would get a questionnaire, right? With some 20 questions where you can just speak into the mic into a chat GPT. There's a custom GPT we give you. Once you speak into it and give the answers, chat GPT will give you a report of whether you can grow into a CEO by 2047 or not. Can you be a lifelong learner and can you grow until you retire? So there are five parameters, observation and dialogue, listening skills, transcendence, self-actualization. There are some parameters. Based on those parameters, it tells you what are the mindsets you have and what are the mindsets you can sort of improve. Because I like to hire individuals who've got that self-awareness, right? So if you're a person who likes talking to yourself, you want to understand who am I, how can I get better? I think we like you. And, and this round three gives you that. Then after that, we give you something called DT exploration map where you'll understand what are the pro processes we use? What is the mindset we apply uh, to our work? You'll, you'll see that and then send in some questions, send in a voice note. There's a small activity to again develop that mindset. Then after that, we invite you to a virtual tour where you'll get to spend three days with us. You'll get to see how our teams work. And after seeing how our teams work, you get to improve your round two assignment again. So you're going to go through four rounds. Round one, just some basic questions. By thinking about them, you'll understand, is this role correct for me? Round one will tell you, is this role correct for me? Round two, you'll actually get a test drive of the role, right? Build an assignment and through that assignment, you'll understand, is this what I want to do for the next six months? Round two tells you that. Round three tells you, okay, if this is what I want to be doing for the next six months, how do I do it? How do I improve? And in round four, again, how do I improve, right? Where you're meeting other people, you're understanding how different people are working in deep thought. This is what makes deep thought selection process very exciting because every participant who completes the four rounds gets an opportunity to spend three days with the company, see how the company works. This is probably the highest level of transparency that any organization maintains in India because the shortlisted candidates get an opportunity to come spend three days with the company and understand how the company works to see. Because I see that a lot of Gen Z, right, join a company and then decide, ki, oh no, this is not where I want to be. Now, staying back somewhere just because you joined is not going to be good, right? So you'd want to have a very thought through decision of is this the right place for me to come and, and spend the next six months of my career. And, and, and many of the individuals uh, do their first job or first internship with uh, deep thought. So it becomes even more sensitive. So we'd like every individual to make an informed choice and the right choice for themselves. And that's why we have this virtual tour where everybody gets an opportunity to understand, is this for me? Right. As much as I want to understand, are you correct for deep thought? Even you will have to understand which is that organization which is correct for me. And what we've seen is any individual who's completed, I wouldn't say any, but say most individuals who completed the four rounds of the process were able to get a lot of clarity of what do I want to do with respect to my career. So if you're in a lot of pressure, I would say don't do the selection process. But if you are like, I want to make the right choice uh, for my career, I want to get more exposure i want to you know in a very planned way start my career then i believe that this process will sort of help you it's pretty long it's pretty rigorous maybe worth it so uh think through properly and then if you feel like this is what i want to be doing the link was given to you on intern shala so go ahead complete the selection process looking forward to seeing you in the virtual tour soon thank you for listening to me patiently and wishing you all the very best